above your skin is like a liquid gold. Don't you know that you're a miracle? Oh. And I will love you, come rain or shine. Through hurricanes or fields of fire, I will be with you till the end of time. Oh, morning, folks. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Morning, morning, morning. Sat at Heathrow Lounge. Hey, pixelated's flying in business or first. Go on, shit. Go on, shit. Fucking thing, man. Uh, good or what is going on dudes thank you for tuning into the stream good morning good afternoon good evening happy tuesday happy tuesday hi how's everyone doing sorry i'm massively behind schedule today everything is just fucking nuts but we're here we're live we're ready to rumble and we're gonna have a good show and we will go a little bit over time today of course to make up for lost time but we're here we're live and uh we're gonna have a good stream um even of earth how are you yeah, where are you flying to, Pixelated? I feel like you told me you're going to, like, Canada or something, but I don't know if that's... I've just pulled that out of my arse, so there's a chance. Um, well, have a safe flight in your, in, your, in the next couple of hours. Um, fair play to you for flying fucking business. That's kind of... It's kind of nuts. Um, let's say, I've only ever done that once, and that was on that Q-Suite Qatar Airways stuff, which is just fucking mental, so... What an experience that is. Are you flying to LA for work? Shit! And they're putting you in business class. Interesting. Interesting. Just bear with. I reckon. Let's go. If I can get the airport. Here it is. Departures. What's the time now? Two. So let's say you are. I thought you were. Interesting. Or maybe you're this. Hold on. Oh, maybe you're here. Hmm. You said you bored in two hours, right? Is that what you said? Yeah. I found your exact flight. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I found, Pixelated. On a Boeing 777-223 extended range. Exciting. Uh... Scheduled arrival at five past six in the morning. Terminal B. <laughs> oh man. AAL one three nine. Cool. Cool. I'm jealous, man. I wish I was going to LA. That sounds like fun. Although you are working, so maybe it's not so fun. But we're live. We're gonna post a Minecraft chat. How's everybody doing? Uh, all good. Finish a thousand piece puzzle this morning. Very big pog. Uh, let's not waste any time. Uh, let's um, jump straight into the news. Um, marathon is going to be at some point in the next couple of days. A couple of days. It's going to be marathon o'clock. Um, I have no idea which day. Either Thursday or Friday, I would imagine. Uh, marathon show um, so that'll be good fun uh, I hope all of you Americans got so excited over a fucking shadow yesterday uh, <laughs> oh my god I follow so many Americans on like fucking Instagram and all sorts 
And just everyone's story is showing this shadow. And I'm like, it's just, you're all getting gassed over literally a shadow. Like, God, man. Um, anyway, America's a funny place, man. But we are going for 110 on the streak today. 110 on the streak. Uh, holy fucking shit. Nearly at the 1111. 1111. That's too many ones. Nearly at the 111. If we do hit the. Uh, 150, that's another marathon stream unlocked, which is pog. So we're going for 110 today. Um, you slept through it. I mean, it wasn't... <laughs> In my opinion, it, it's not worth staying up for. It's pretty cool. Okay, well, big shadow. <laughs> like, go stand under a tree or something. Like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's just funny, man, just because the amount of people going nuts about it on Twitter and shit. Um, anyway, let's see some hellos. If you're out there, you're not lurking in the darkness, please say hello in the chat right now. And I should say hello back. We should welcome everyone to the stream. It got dark, birds went silent, bugs started getting loud, and it was cool. I thought it'd be garbage, but it was cool. Maybe you should go buy a t-shirt now, Maddie. $30. Go buy yourself a t-shirt. <laughs> It just makes it amusing because there's been 224 eclipse, solar eclipses since 2000, right? That's about 10 a year, right? <laughs> oh, man. It's... Maybe I already bought you one. Whoa, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Hey, Button. Today I accidentally swallowed some Scrabble tiles and now I'm experiencing constant vowel movements. The next trip to the bathroom could spell disaster. Seven. I enjoy it. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Maybe already bought one. Actually, no, you definitely didn't buy one, Maddie, because you said you had $22 to your name yesterday, and the shirts were $30. So, ha! <laughs> Johnny, let me send this to the missus one second. You got a 7.5, by the way, for the one yesterday. I was kind of fuming about that. That's some bullshit. No, I don't, I don't want my merch. I'm good. I I appreciate it, Maddie. I used my credit card for it. Don't play with me. <laughs> uh, Brock, good morning to you, mate. Chaz, pixelated. How are you, pal? Uh, MKL, Chrissy, good to see you. Kag, a mischievous Jen. Uh, Beth, how are you? Ayla, good to see you. MCZ, uh, Aussie's girl. Swash, is a Kona. How are you guys? Um, if I didn't miss anyone, thank you for being here. Let's play some video games. I make shit happen. I mean, apparently so, Maddie. Apparently so. I need to get a credit card. I don't own a credit card. Mainly because I don't think I could trust myself. If I had a credit card with like a five grand limit, I'd probably max it in like a day. Um, I can't trust myself to not do that. So, yeah, I, it's kind of rough. Oh, I got a What, of the solar eclipse or actual button merge? The answer to both is no. Right, uh, so last stream was productive. Very productive. We got a lot of cows killed. Sorry, a lot of cows bred. We got a lot more diamonds coming in. Uh, we got to breed the cows up again today. Get them going. Uh, th those things are flying along at the moment. Um, I have no idea what else we need to do, but we'll figure it out. What about a house for $230,000 with Nick? So I need my credit card boosted. I only use my credit card if I know I'll pay it back. And would you pay back for the shirt? <laughs> oh, God. 230k for a house. In America, doesn't that get you like a fucking five bed? Jesus. I'm going to have to get my wisdom tooth out, chat. Keeps rubbing on my gum. Dreading having that done. Hello, everybody. Good morning. That is literally for a fire bed. That is insane. It's insane because if you wanted that in the UK, you're looking at at least, at least half a million dollars minimum, and that's at a that's at a push. Probably more in the range of six, seven hundred thousand dollars. No, definitely in the range of six, seven hundred thousand, five hundred thousand pounds maybe. We're wanting to build a house on the farm. Where's my invite, Maddie? 
Don't worry about it. It's all good. Didn't want to be invited. AS Canaris 45. Beautiful months. Thank nice you so much, one, mate. Nice Twitch. Just cancel my auto-renewing subscription. Clowns. Ah, uh, that sounds like a Twitch thing to do. Sounds like a Twitch thing to do. It's mental you need a credit card and debt to get a good credit score. Oh, yeah. Understanding the financial system is... Uh, and his name is Matrix! Very advantageous. Mischievous! Coming in with all the biddies. 1,300 of them, in fact. Thank you so damn much, Mischievous. I appreciate it. We've got to be careful of entity grabbing here. Thank you very much, Mischievous. First biddies of the day. No, not the first biddies of the day. Second biddies of the day. Biggest biddies of the day. Thank you very, very much. Okay, you guys need to, like, shuffle down. Move on down, peeps. Let's get it moving now. Get it moving. Get it moving on down. Move on down. Move on down. Right. This is looking pretty good. Got an email telling me my subscription, subscription you've been cancelled. And you're like, what the fuck? That's annoying. Well, thank God you fixed it. It could have been a disaster, that. Could have lost your 44-month watch streak. Looks like the London Tube at Rush Hour. Yeah, that's one of my least favourite places at Rush Hour is the underground. Not fun. Send them through. Oh, yeah. I think we're getting to a point now where the number of baby cows... I don't know how many more cows I can put out there without them fucking thingy but bobbing. Without them... Oh, we've got a little bit of space. Oh, there's plenty of room. We've got plenty of room. Hi, Julie. How are you? Mischievous, thank you so much for the biddies. Triggering a hype train. First hype train of the day. Dear Lord, thank you so much. Thank you so much, and already well on the way to that big goal of the stream, Big Pog. Uh, now, last stream, uh, we were trying to get the diamonds, but also during the process of that, uh, we're going to build the uh, this into like our, our end. Because that, that now goes to the end portal, that tunnel. So now we're going to finish that off and start work on that. Um, but we did discover a shit ton of cave, which I would kind of like to go in, first of all, because... Uh, I just gotta repair my pickaxe as well. Because there's an opportunity for a shitload of diamonds. So. Which we need. Keep talking shit. You know you're always invited. I am so bad. And I, I will take you off on that someday. Someday I will. Uh, Alright. I want to be back in somewhere. Ed. Ed. I have a coffee this morning, chat. Water breathing potions. Yes. Because one of those caves was nuts, actually. That's a good idea. Water breathing potions, night vision potions is a good idea. Um, yeah. Very, very good plan. Very good plan. So, yeah. Marathon streams coming up in the next couple of days. Um, as I said, it would be this week. Um... I didn't quite realize how behind on everything I am, but we're going to do it anyway. I don't know what type of marathon we're going to do yet. I thought, like, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what I want to do with it. I don't know whether I want to do a subathon type thing, or if I just want to do a, just like a, something like a 15 hour or something like that, or 12 hours, or 24 hours. I don't know. I don't know. It won't be 24. I'll tell you that for a fact, actually. But I don't know what I want to do. Maybe a subathon up to like 15 hours or something like that. Maybe. Maybe. I said maybe. Whoa. Steady. Okay, we're going to need some more creepers to come down here. What time did you start? A bit like 8 a.m. sort of start times. Somewhere around 8 in the morning. And it'll finish at like 11. And after... You're my wonder. What a great song, by the way. 
We are having no creepers drop down at the moment. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. Six hours capped at 12. Every sub adds five minutes. That would be like the most pointless sub bomb ever. I mean... Yeah, that would be pointless. Fifteen seconds in and I'm leaving because Button is singing the most overrated song in the history of music. That is incorrect. Most overrated song in the history of music. That's an interesting question. It ain't Wonderwall, that's for sure. Um... God, what is the most overrated song in the history of music? Because you got popular and overrated or bangers. Like, Mr. Brightside is sung way too much, but it is a banger. Um, hey, Jude. Mentors. That's literally what we're doing. Hey, Jude is an interesting one. Uh, the reason for the carpet is so XP doesn't get stuck in the hoppers. It pops it right out. Look at me. I'm a generic college guy with a guitar who only knows one song, and it's this one. Wonderwall is a very easy song to play, to be fair. God, what's like a really popular but overrated song? Like, it's... Wonderwall is not it. Like, Wonder Wars is a great song. I'm trying to think of a song that everybody sings, but it's a bit like, it's okay. Enter Sandman. Yeah, maybe it's a good song, but is it? Maybe it's slightly overrated, but I, I bet there's one, something that's more overrated. No. Anything by Coldplay? That's just that's just wrong. What do you mean? Well, pixelated. I hope you fucking flights today, mate. Sweet Caroline. Oh, but it is a bot. I mean, it's probably overplayed slightly, but it is a bot. Um, you're saying Viva La Viva by uh, Coldplay is overrated? Yeah, maybe. No, I thought about Come On Eileen, but I was like, no, that's, that's a good song, though. What's Texas Hold'em? I don't even know what that is. That's, that's a form of poker, isn't it? That's what, that's what I know. I've got it. I've got it. 80s and 90s stuff is banging. But if you're talking like present day stuff, God's plan is what is massively overrated. It just is. I don't care what anybody says. Like the song is okay, right? But everyone goes nuts when that shit starts playing. I'm going with that. I'm going with that. I'm going with that. But that's like more like current stuff. But it's it's a really popular song, and I'm not really sure why. Like it's I'm going to go with that. Don't stop believing. That's just... No, 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 no. Wrong. Wrong agenda. That is so wrong. 
Wait. I think I've got confused with don't want to miss a thing. No, don't stop the button in here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that is slightly overrated. Maybe that is slightly overrated. Potions! Queen, wow. That's rough, man. You can't be saying that shit and not expect somebody to slap you. Are there any Queen songs that are overrated? I don't even think there is. I don't. I can't think of one Queen song that's overrated. I guess people might say Bohemian Rhapsody, but if they do, they're not understanding the, the music side of it. No, I, I think Brock is just, yeah, just get him out of here. Just get him out of here, mods. Round him up. Get him out of here. Right, we need night vision and water breathing. What is a potion of water breathing? Is that puffer fish? Fuck me. Name a song, MKL. Name one overrated cream. Cream? Queen song. I'll wait. What's my education? Diploma? We are the champions. <sighs> Do you know what? Maybe. Like, it is a great song. But when it does play, I'm like, this again? Carrots. That's what I need here. Diploma of what degree? This is fucking 21 questions. Chat, I'm being questioned. I have a diploma in um, IT. There you go. That'll do. Good morning, holes. You woke up late? Don't panic. Just calm yourself. Everybody, can someone just calm holes down? She's freaking out for fuck's sake. Just relax. Yeah, I got a diploma in colouring in year two. Diploma in your mum. I'll dip my loma in your mum. <laughs> I'm not panicking. You're very clearly panicking. I just need you to calm down. Yeah, pump the brakes a little. It's going to be fine. Can you say... I mean, I'm, I'm not a... not a What? No, I'm not going to say that because I have no idea who that is. And I feel like I'm being thrown into a trap. I'm not a performing monkey. It doesn't work like that. Um... So what, night vision? It is a puffer fish, isn't it? Where the fuck am I going to get a puffer fish? There might be one by the... Do we have one? Can't wait for this storage area to be fucking done, chat. What is the most overrated soul holes? I mean, I'd better calm down first. She's kind of freaking out a little bit. Let her just relax. I don't know. Um, we haven't even done this tunnel yet. I have so much to do. God, we really need this marathon stream to hurry up. Yeah, it is pufferfish. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if we've got any watch fanatics in the chat, by the way. People that like their watches. I don't know if you guys saw the new releases today from Tudor and Rolex. Wonder what uh, people's opinions on those are. For anyone that's into that sort of stuff. Anyone that's in that world. The uh, the new Tudor stuff looks fucking awesome. Obviously, none of this is stuff that any of us can afford, but it's kind of cool to see. Uh, when you leave that door in your base, was it intentional uh, that the cow looks like it's sitting on a castle wall? No, I didn't even think about that. 
Uh, no, the mission today is... Uh, well, we've got to sort that end tunnel out, but diamonds will be a... A part of that. Hmm. Game, I'm going to need you to give me a puffer fish. Why is there no sea life here whatsoever? <laughs> There's not even a single fish, a load of puffer fish. Disagree on single ladies. Oh! No, single ladies is a fucking massively overrated zone. Yeah, boom. In the hole. That is a hole in one right there. We have a dilemma chat. We're running out of coffee. I don't mind Halo, but Single Ladies is really overrated. How about just America holes? How about that? How about that? How many people live in America? What, like 200 million? About 180 million of those people just got excited over a shadow. Like, what a... What a crazy place. Well, it was, a, it was a freedom eclipse, brother. It was a freedom eclipse. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, is it 330 million? There you go. 300 million of you guys just got excited over a shadow. Um, not a fan of Beyonce or Taylor Swift. Uh, the problem with someone like Taylor Swift... I think a lot of people would say we're not a fan of Taylor Swift, but then when a song comes on, they've had a few drinks. You know, they'll be they'll be singing like crazy. Where's that Popovich? I just saw him. Where are you? Aha! That's a Popovich right there. Oh my god, there's loads! Holy shit! There's like five. <laughs> Whatever. We'll get them after. Come here. Ow! <laughs> oh my god, there's actually shit tons of these guys. I'm gonna kill every single one of them. Holy shit, there's more! Oh my god, there's loads! What the fuck is going on? No, this is not Sunken Land, Amy. Although I am quite excited to have a look at that, to be fair. Okay, there's literally like... 20 of these dudes. I think that blows my mind is that, uh, is that there are people here, probably you include a button, who don't remember the 99 clips in the UK, having experienced it, I get the US obsession. I mean, I was around for that, but I don't remember it. There's the whole, I, I get the, like, the concept of being excited over something like a solar eclipse. It's kind of cool, the moon goes in front of the sun. But the reality of it is, it is just a shadow, right? It goes dark in the middle of the day, you know. Go to the North Pole. It's dark for six months. It's, you know, I just don't... That was 15 pufffish there. I just don't understand. I mean, actually, I know exactly why it was as big of an event as, it, as everybody made out. And that's why people can make a shit ton of money from people getting excited over it. That's why it was as big of an, of an event as it, as it was. Ah, oh, sod it. We'll sleep out here. The amount of people made money that made a shit ton of money from that is just crazy. 
And a rare event. Well, it's not a rare event. It's happened 224 times since 2000. That's 10 times a year. <laughs> I mean, maybe over in America it's a rare event, but... Um... I can only assume it's this way. I have no idea which way I was going. Yeah, like, oh, the amount of people that would have bought sunglasses to look at it. T-shirts. Oh, man. It was just uh, such an easy opportunity to make a shitload of money. Wait, what am I doing? You have a fucking Elytra, you bellend. There'll be people that have said it as their phone backgrounds. People will be selling phone cases of it. It's such easy money to make, if you know what you're doing in the business world of that. Um, well, that would be why it was also everywhere, because there's just so much money to be made. Um, okay, we have everything now. We have everything. To be fair, we actually don't. Let me see if I can get some coal while we're here. This is usually pretty good for coal. I'm, I'm a sa. People want to buy those things, don't see a problem. No, not at all. Absolutely not. Enjoy it. It's a massively overhyped event, though. Uh, aha, here we go. Just made me smile how just fucking nuts everyone was going about it on Twitter and everything. Uh, 37. Oh, that'll do, you know what? Okay. But perhaps I'm just being a bit of fucking... Maybe I'm being a Scrooge. Perhaps. But you can't, you can be smug about it unless you've experienced it firsthand. You don't understand how cool it is. I've seen a solar eclipse. I've seen one before. And it was okay. That's it. It was okay. Have I seen a 100% one? Oh, but I get the concept of it. It goes a bit dark. You know, the moon goes above the sun. Woohoo. Take care, Noisy. Have a good one. So many Americans are fever right now. Like, we wanted to see the eclipse, but don't be so fucking miserable. Don't be so miserable. <laughs> uh, temperature drops to six degrees. Well, duh. <laughs> Why are you surprised by this? Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the cow and you leave a single door in your base. Whatever this is going to be, by the way, it's media. I'm not going to be able to unsee it. I'm leaving before I get mad. You're amazed that when the sun went away... The temperature got colder. <laughs> oh, God. Just makes me smile, man. Pat, are you enjoying it? That's all that matters. Exactly. Correct. I'm glad you enjoyed it, mate. If it brought you happiness, that's the main thing. Right, let me go make three, um... What was I even making? Night vision and water breathing potions. Oh, the cow. Fuck. I f sorry, Smitty. I forgot again. What? What is it supposed to look like? What did you say about it? Uh... Looks like it's on the wall. Does it? You got the mound there, though. Maybe I've got to stand like further back. 
Don't zoom in, for fuck's sake, it ruins it. I don't see it. What about like this one? What if we come up here? Does it make a difference? Oh, uh, maybe slightly. I see it more from this side than I do the other side. Yeah, maybe slightly. Yeah. Yeah, maybe slightly. But only for this one. True, the hot club. Very true. Right, I need to go and breathe this up. Uh, you're going to do an ocean monument. For... This is not potions. For what? Oh. Pass button has already done some stuff in here. Okay. Uh, blaze powder. Shit. Do I have any of that? No. Sure, that'll work. Why are we making potions? Oh, because we've got a lot of underwater caves for the... Um... So we dug we dug a tunnel yesterday from like a mound that's going to be like an end island that goes down and then through to an end portal. Um, and during that, there's a, there's a massive, and I mean massive, underwater cave. Um, I've never seen one this big before, so it's kind of exciting. We're going to go through that. Um, and there's also a lot of other caves, which, you know, it'd be, it'd be worth having these potions for. We probably won't have all of them, but we'll have a lot of them. Um, Hey, what are you talking about? Funny, it only happened uh, to the really thick kind of people, even though all TV stations were more than weeks in advance. Wait, what's this? I watched the one about TV that was awesome. Uh, what was awesome too was hearing all the idiots watch it without without protection hurting their eyes. I mean, if, if you're stupid enough to look at the sun with your bare eyes, then all the best to you. All the best to you. You deserve everything that happened. Um... But I have a question. If you get mad, we could say the button got pressed. Wait! That'll be 100 bits. Pay the fine. I'll do the time. 100 bits of pun outside of Pun Day Monday. Get him out of here. I did quite enjoy that, actually. Johnny's missed a trick there. That could have been a belter. Um, hi, Al. How are you? Oh, my God. Look at that. Damn. Ow, that looks good. Pink on purple on purple on purple. Flash pink. I mean, there is like, I don't know if it's actually true, if it was a wind-up, but I, I, I can see why the concept would make sense. So if you don't have eye protection, the least you can do is sort of do this to sort of break up the amount of light going into your eye. Like, if you stare at a light and do this, it sort of breaks it up a little bit. You do turn into John Cena, obviously temporarily, but... <laughs> you do turn into John Cena, but if you stare at the sunlight and do this, it sort of helps to... Stop the amount of light going into your eye. Um, one thing though that I will say that I didn't even think about, and I don't know, because I've never even thought about it. Marcus Brownlee was, uh, did a thing where can you just point your phone camera at the sun and leave it there? Like, just take a picture of it without damaging your phone? And I never even thought about that. Uh, I think his results were conclusive that you'd be fine, but... I never even thought about that. If you point the, the lens of your camera on your phone to the sun. Is it going dark? I can't tell if it's going dark. No, I don't I don't think it is. Fuck it, we'll be fine. Uh, but he brought up an interesting point about that. I didn't even consider that you could damage your phone from it. Um...
Okay. I hope you're doing well, Alex. Good to see you. Oh, shit. I forgot about all this as well. I thought we dug all this out. Bollocks. Pass button actually sucks. What you is that? Uh. Uh. I can't lie, chat. I'm very excited for this marathon stream coming up on the uh, in a couple days. I'm very excited for it. I don't know how we're going to do it yet. I haven't thought about the structure. It was made apparent to me yesterday how completely unorganized my life is at the moment. Um, and we need to start organizing it. Get it all logically organized. Um, but it was made apparent how unorganized my life is at the moment. So we need to ensure that that gets changed. Um, we'll go to the big ones first. Uh, and that will get changed right after we figure out what we're doing with this marathon. Tonight is a, today is a busy work day for me. I've got lots going on. But we've got to figure out what's going on marathon-wise. Final stage interview tomorrow. No. Uh, the marathon will either be Thursday or Friday, most likely. Most likely. I'm not sure what day I want to do it on yet. <laughs> Oh my god, this actually we went far with this, didn't we? Well, I don't want to get Alex's hopes up or anything, but I'm pretty sure she's got this in the bag. She uh she was saying Oh, there we go. There's one part of the cave to go through. Uh she was saying how they absolutely loved her and I mean it's patiently in the bag already. They think she's great. <laughs> I don't want to get a hopes up in case it doesn't, but she's pretty much, she's got it, got it on lockdown. Let's just fucking pop one of these bad boys. Fuck the torches off. Oh, how much better is that? Look at that. Ding, ding. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Double ding, ding's in the roof as well. Hey, Bassoon, how are you? Is this gonna be enough? I have no idea. Oh, yes. Show me the money. There's eight. Is that the correct number? I'm gonna assume yes. Wow, Night Vision is actually OP as fuck in these caves. If you've got the armor to withstand skeletons and tombs and shit, look, I can see those diamonds all the way over there. Oh my god, there's more here. Why are there so many diamonds this high up? Um, more here. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god! One, two, three. Holy shit! Why did we not do night vision originally? Apparently I've been down here as well. Might be worth even going into the areas we've already been to. Pringles all the way to your heart. I don't know how well you do with hot food, Amy. I know obviously you've got your uh, health things to sort of think about as well. But at Insomnia, they had um, a Pringles stand where they were giving away all their new like hot flavors. You had like, uh, there was like bar hot barbecue, hot sour cream and something. Uh, and then hot, what was the other one? There was another one as well. And there was basically, it was just, it was all free. And then at the end of it, they had so many left over, they were giving out, you know, you get those like wholesale big crates of them where there's like 12 tubes in one. They were just giving those out to people. It was pretty nuts. I couldn't have any because they have milk in, but. Well, I, I should have considered going and grabbing some for you, to be honest, but. I just didn't even give that a thought because obviously you'd already left at that point. Was that not? Oh, it's above it. I was going to say, there was definitely more than that there. 
true. I did give you my monster. My only monster, Amy, and I gave it to you. That's how much of a good friend I am. Oh, I see some more. How much just got left? Five minutes? Yeah, this is kind of OP, man. Well, chat, here's my new button top tip. If you want diamonds early game in Minecraft, quickly make a night vision potion and come into a cave. Holy crap. Sod digging for him. Look at this. This is only the first cave as well. We're not even started. Only? Well, yeah, you and AJ had about 15. I, I only went there once and got one can. AJ just abused it. They did the same with that at the end as well. They had a load left over. They were giving out big, like, wholesale crates of it. If you timed it correctly and spoke to the right people... I mean, I could get away with it. They must see so many people in a day that I could probably get away with it with my fucking glasses. Take, put my glasses on. Go grab a, a load at the end of the event. Take my glasses off. Go grab even more. <laughs> oh, my God. I could end up with, like, 30 something cans of free monster within, like, an hour. Go back an hour later. They've probably forgotten me. Boom. There we go. Uh, that's a lie, as they were giving out more free ones. Oh, no, I did go twice. because No, I didn't go twice. AJ gave me the other one. No, I only went once. I only went once, got my free can, and gave my one and only can to Amy. That's how good of a friend I am to her. Only eat smoky bacon Pringles. Oh, that sounds boom. I've had the barbecue ones many times. I do like those. I I've never even heard of the smoky bacon Pringles. Oh, my God, there's so many diamonds. Why would you want 30 cans of monster? Clear a sink blockage. What? What do you mean? You like the spice one? I can't have them. They all had milk. That's why I didn't go and grab them. Because I couldn't eat any of them. There's no point. But if you, were, if you were smart about it and timed your event right, you could spend £20 on a ticket to get in and get way more in value of free shit to come out. And then you make profit. Boom. There might be diamonds up here, but I don't care. Because there's way more caves to explore. That's a big L. It rots your insides. What, monster? Oh, probably. I don't drink them all too often anyway. I only have them on rare occasions. I don't really drink any drinks in general. I feel like they, they more subtract from my energy levels and actually add to them. You drink it, and then you just feel like shit. And you're just like, well... If I could just have a couple cups of coffee, it would be a similar thing, and I'll feel okay. Uh, they're also free. Even if you weren't going to drink it, you can sell them to your friends. You can sell them to your friends, pound a pop, that's 30 quid. Boom. Happy days. Easy money. Easy moolah. Alright, let's go to the next big cave. This is kind of pop. Hello, zombies. This worked out really well. 57 diamonds from one little cave with a night vision potion. We're going to need more night vision potions, though, because this is only one cave. There's about five, I think. Get my eyes peeled for any more ding dings on the way. If you sold it at a pound a can, 30 quid. I don't know how much a can of monster costs nowadays. I think it's more than that. I think it used to be like one pound 20 when I bought it like years ago. God knows what they are now. With today's inflation, they're probably about four quid a can. Button's genius plan. Sell your free monster, cans of monster to your friends at an event giving out free monster cans. Yeah. Take the free cans. Bring them home. Yeah, mate. Quid, you can have it. Done. What? $4.50 for a can. What, for one can? That can't, that's not right. What? Wait, wait, hold on. Just repeat that. $4.50 for a 
for a single can of Monster. Yep, at a gas station. Oh, okay, that's gas station prices. That's still a lot of money, though. No on for five minutes? Buddy. We did a whole world of no armor and defeated the Ender Dragon. Hold on a second. There it is. Come on. We we did an entire world of no armor and killed the Ender Dragon. Uh, I believe it's on the... Did we upload it to YouTube? I can't remember. We did! Right here. A whole world, buddy. Fuck no armor for five minutes. We did no armor for an entire world. Just thought I'd share that. Four dollars fifty is cheap in Australia. Oh, that yeah, but Holes was talking about American dollars. Australian dollars, four dollars fifty American in Australia is about fifty bucks. <laughs> the Aussies are like, fuck off, but they have fifty bucks. What do you mean? <laughs> four or five hundred bill cans is five pound eighty. What's that like one pound forty a pop, something like that? Oh, another cave. Ding ding. I'm going to have to kill you. What? So there's a creeper coming for me. In Australia, they sell a four pack of monster for 20 bucks. That's just ridiculous. I mean, as I say, I don't really drink monsters all that much, but that's just crazy money. Uh, this seems like an optimal place to give a bunch of ding-dings. Yeah, there's one right there. Fifteen dollars for four cans of monster. That's just insane. Oh, oh, that's so kind. Giving Aussie Melly a sub. Oh, that stuff in the roof. What the hell? Oh, it's a zombie villager that made that noise. Uh oh. Uh. See more ding dings. Holy creepers! But there's anything down that way. Hello there. Oh, this was just a smart idea. We should have made more. It's weird you never had a monster. Um, I wouldn't say so. I mean, as, as somebody pointed out before, they are very bad for you, but... If you're, like, absolutely exhausted and you need some energy pretty quick for a small period of time... A monster, you know, it's hard to get a roll with it in something like that. Holy fuck! What is going on? Piss off. Right, hold on. Thank you so much. Brock, give him Mrs. The Dark. What a sub. Thank you, mate. Enjoy, Mrs. The Dark One. Thank you all for the support, folks. Really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are on the way. Well on the way. The 510 subs. What a way. One sub away from that, and uh, 3,500 bits away from the big goal of the stream. It is on. It is on. Got to keep a sub streak up. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you so much for that, bro. Appreciate it, mate. I'm sure she'll see that when she returns to her PC. Alindri for 29 years. Coming on in. Bye. Welcome back. Thank you so damn much. One away. Well here. Oh, God. It hasn't updated yet. I think we might have just lost a sub, unless that was a, a, a resub that had already prepaid. I decided I'm going to 100% suns, uh, get all the achievements, so that I can forget the storyline. Sure, I mean, you might as well make, make the most of your 25 quid. You don't think it's worth it at the moment, so... Yeah, play some more. Hopefully it'll be worth it by the end. Why not? Our percentage is probably like... 70, maybe. Uh... Oh! Is this where we... I don't know if this is where we went in. We'll carry on. 56, yeah, there you go. How did you beat the game? 56%. Because we were just doing caves to get to the to the end of the story. We didn't do anything else. I think, like, I think there's other caves that are just like... Um, what do you call it? There's other caves that are just like to explore and find certain things in. Like maybe some cool... I don't know, some cool items perhaps that have no relation to the story. Down for a new game. Oh, no. I, I don't think Amy would be doing a new game. I think she'd just be going with this, the, uh, the current one we did. Hmm. Shiny! Thank you so much. One whole year. I meant a whole new game. I would have to start it. Yeah, I mean, so would I. The problem is... You really, really dis this. Sub for one here. Check. Thank you so much, Shiny. There it is. 510 Subaroons. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. She meant, like, sunken land. Did she? Oh! Sorry. I mean, as in a new game. Not a new game of Suns. She's talking about a new game. She's talking about a new game in general. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. Or he's a hold it. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I was going to say, I'm not starting to get his under the forest. No way. That's a bin there, done that, done that now. We only have one night vision potion left, but we're nearly at the end here. Yeah, that Sunken Land looks alright. I don't Has anybody here played Sunken Land chat? Yeah, I think solo would be quite good fun. Or if you played it with just like one other person, that could be good fun. Makes like some of the boss fights and stuff a little bit harder as well. Although we fucking, we dicked that final boss, man. That final boss got absolutely annihilated. Is it worth going down here? Ah, oh, fuck it, we might as well. Night vision has 15 seconds left. Okay, memorize all the diamonds up. Ah, this was completely pointless. Get back. No, I haven't had a charge yet, Amy. Uh, I will do. I just haven't looked yet. Although I won't be playing games for a while at the moment. I'm so behind on things. I need to catch up. I need to catch up. I need to have a couple, like, 12-hour days to get everything done. Uh... But we'll get there. Oh shit! Oh, 
Oh, is it worth going in here? I'd probably not. On me. Uh oh. Excuse me. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, <coughs> the other issue we've got. Oh, this is the big water cave. Hey, button. Wait. I take no responsibility for this one. Oh, God. It hurt me to hear it just now. So now you all must. Oh, God. Ready? Sure. If you find yourself counting cows instead of sheep to try and fall asleep, it's a good sign it's past your bedtime. Oh, my fucking God. I mean, I can only apologize to the chat for having to endure that on Johnny's behalf. Thank you for your 200 bits. Three. Just a three. It was, it was painful. Painful has to mark it down. Thank you for your 200 bits, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. A little bit closer. 3,300 from maintaining the streak. Uh, where was that massive... Ah, here it is. Let's say that massive open lava one. This would be worth uh, jigging out. I've just drunk a water breathing potion. Well done, button. There's lots of water to have to breathe in here, you bellend. Right, let's uh, see if we can see anything... Anything of use? Any ding dings? There's two right there. I've totally just looked at an enderman. Oh god, we're in a bad. This is a bad spot to be. Okay, enderman's dealt with. That thing was just gonna follow me. There's more ding dings up there. Stay back. Uh, I need to stop taking so much damage. I don't have the food to be doing this. You now dislike Johnny more than me. Wow, that's that's harsh. To be fair, Johnny did say it was crap from the start and uh, that we all had to suffer because he did. So... Yeah, button. Take less damage. Just jump on fucking a high thing, you bellend. God, bellend is the word of the day at the moment. Oh, well done, mate. Ooh, more ding-dings. Oh my god, another spawner as well. Holy moly. Oh, this is not a good place to be. Dear Lord. A couple of golden apples, not bad. Stop taking so much damage. I know, I need to. It's not good. Oh my lord. Brisket for a biscuit. This is going to go catastrophically wrong, by the way. Oh my god, the water might have just saved my life. I have, I don't think I picked up half of those. Oh wow, this is just... This is diamonds galore. We're not even trying and we're getting them. That water breathing potion I accidentally took is coming in handy, though. Wait. This isn't even the massive one, by the way. We've got five minutes left to go through that big water cave. God, we need to get a move on, man. No, not anus, Robert. I knew I didn't pick up all those diamonds. Uh, yeah, no. Let's just go back the other way. Button, just, just leave, pal. 
Oh, no, there's diamonds. Now I have to go up. Going up. Going down. Oh, there's a fucking another one. We're good. We have a stack and a half. Holy crap. Hello. I need to somehow get up there. I'm going to do it pretty quickly. You. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Right, where the hell is that massive water cave? Was this it? This looks like it. Right, keep your eyes peeled for the ding dings, chat. How long we got? Three minutes? God, I really need a poo. This is not good. The coffee has gone straight through me. Yeah, there was one in the roof where that path was. I did see that. Gross? What do you mean gross? Everybody shits at this. Don't pretend that you have not absolutely annihilated the bowl at some point in your life, because I know you have. <laughs> Alice is a lady. <laughs> Doing good, Nugget. How are you? Alice is a lady, but she also strikes me as the kind of lady that if she really needed to go... She would make sure she had ma maximum satisfaction from it. You know one of those ones where you're really holding it, really holding it. You get to the toilet, you sit down and just go, Ugh. And just, <laughs> that strikes me as something that Alice would do. I, I, you know, I respect it. Frankly. I don't judge. Where was that diamond? I definitely saw it when we flew back up. You judge me? That's totally fine, though. There. Meow. Coming on in. Ten beautiful months. Thank you so much. Twitch baby. Finally. Maximum efficiency is waiting to you really to go. The satisfaction of that, just letting your bowels just go, is just, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I feel bad for anybody within like a five kilometer radius, but. That is not my issue. Um, something along the lines of this. All in all. Oh, why am I doing this? We're going to have to dig through this anyway. All in all, this is a job well done. We're leaving. Uh, we'll leave this way. I feel like shitting is a 50-50 flip of whether you feel better or worse after. I can't think of a single time I've gone for shit and felt worse after. Um, Belgium Army, how are you, mate? Good to see you, pal. Welcome. I can't think of a single time I've gone to the toilet and felt worse after. You've never felt worse after. Nah. Why? That wouldn't even make sense. Why would you feel worse after? All of the... Literal crap has left your body. Why would you feel crap after? You'd, you'd feel better. I don't think I've ever felt worse after. Johnny, thank you for the sort of boots. Hey, Button. What do you get when you mix human DNA with dolphin DNA? 
The answer is kicked out of Sea World. Oh my God, that is oh God. Oh dear. Thank you, Johnny, for the uh, for the tour of bits there. Give you a solid seven for that. Thank you, mate. Because you feel empty and deflated. No, because that's like a satisfying feeling. You're like, oh, more space. That was better. That was much better. If you ate it super spicy and you feel the burn after. I guess, yeah, maybe in that case. If you had something really hot, a really hot curry. When just thought your rim is literally on fire. That's not very pleasant. But then sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get a little bit of splashback that hits you right on the hole and cools it down. And you're like, oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you don't put toilet paper down. What? What? In the bowl? Fucking no way, mate. I, I, I own my leavings. Poseidon's kid. Is that what it's called? <laughs> That's amazing. No, Roby. Don't put toilet paper, damn it. What kind of upper class posh individual do you think you are? Oh, let me... I live in a high-end apartment in London. Let me... Let me play some toilet paper down in the bowl. The only time I do that is if I'm at somebody's house that isn't mine. Other than that, that toilet's getting fucking nuked. Can be a blessing, Robert. Can be a blessing. And to be honest, some of the steaks that come out of me, it doesn't matter. You can put a bit of toilet paper in the water if you want, but it's a full... <laughs> Sides the lot. Robert, button. Robert probably does it and looks uh, looks at it and admires it after. I don't believe anybody that tells me they don't look back at the bowl afterwards. I don't believe a single individual. Uh, Six hundred and fifty nine, mate. There is no way on this planet that you don't go to the toilet and afterwards look back. There's no way. There's no way. Um, I put toilet paper down if I'm in public since it's not good for the ladies to strain. Like, what's that got to do with straining? How does putting toilet paper in the bowl affect anything to do with straining? You gotta. <laughs> this conversation's fucking disgusting. You have to establish dominance to anyone with earshot. Within earshot, no toilet paper down. Mate, you go in those insomnia toilets in the BYOC. They've got like maybe 30 stalls. And you sit there and you know there's other people in there. And you just hear from a few blocks down. Someone just absolutely wreck the bowl. And you're like, wow. Like that guy, he's outdone me. Yeah, I know for sure. Game, you're giving me a lot of single diamonds here. I need you to start using fortune a bit more. Also, those no toilet paper front wipers. Hey, eh? No toilet paper. What else are you going to use? You hear a mega splash, everyone in the bar starts clapping. Well... Sometimes you ask if people are okay. You hear something next to you, you're like, you're right, mate. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm right. Really, Ayla? Who cares? Just let it rip, go. Get it out of here. Sit and wipe or stand to wipe?
I am a setter. Why would you stand? If you stand, you're just going to squish any crap that's between your cheeks together. Like, not like stand up fully. Maybe like a small, like, ho yeah, a hover. Yeah, that's what I would say. You don't just go, ah, that's done. Lovely. Whoop. Because then you've just squished everything together. That's, that's disgusting. Now, that's why you hover. You raise slightly, and then you're good. The best poop uh, is when you don't have to wipe, but you do anyway. I mean, they are pretty good. But also the ones when you poo, and then they just vanish. Do a ghost poo. You poo, you know something came out of you, but it's not in the bowl. And you wipe, and there's nothing there. They're pretty special. I've not had one of those in a while, but they're pretty special. Um... And you question it. You're like, did I just... Did something happen? Um, if you stay sat on the toilet, that makes no sense to me. I mean, you've sort of got to... Got to hover a little bit. So you don't just sit there. I mean, you... I can't even see how that would really work. The only way that would work is if you went through the, through the legs. But nobody does that. Do they? I mean, maybe there are some back-to-front wipers. Um, my stomach is hurting very bad. Can we move on from this topic? Yeah, a small lean is all you need. Lean or a little hover. Um, maybe you need a poo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this conversation is just the worst. So many people have come out of lurk to get involved in this conversation. It's just, just disgusting. <laughs> oh, God. What are we doing? Chat, this is meant to be a pleasant Minecraft stream. Everybody's relaxing, having a good time. This is the most active the chat has been in a long time, and it's over the conversation of poopy. We're talking shit. That's a hundred bits. Fold or crumple? See, this is an interesting one. I'm a folder. But. If I'm in a rush, it might be like an untidy fold. Right? Like, conveniently, I have a toilet paper right here to demonstrate. Three sheets. Is all you need. Three sheets, because then you can fold over, over, and you're ready to rumble, right? However, if you're in a rush, you know, sometimes it's a little bit quick, and it's sort of like a quick fold, which sort of seems scrunched, but you've got a nice surface that's wipeable. You know what I mean? So, three sheets is plenty. Use six to nine. Depends if it's single ply. If it's single ply, use more than three. This is double ply. Um, there you go. Depends on the quality, true. If it's that thin stuff where, like, if you're not careful, your finger's going to go through. Yeah, you want to be a bit careful of that. Single ply should be made illegal. It, 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 yeah. Everybody move down. This is very important. Move down, everybody. Move on down. Move on down. Come, people. Come on. Join. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Come on in now. If you ever timed your poops, you can take your daily shower after. Are you suggesting you clean your ass with the shower head after pooping, Robert? That's what I got from that. I really hope that's not what you're suggesting. Jen, thank you for the 100 bits. No, you just shower and clean your ass. You're saying you poop. 
Get in the shower, because all your clothes are already off. Take the shower head off. Blast your ass with it. To clean afterwards. If that's what you're saying, that is fucking disgusting. There's nothing wrong, but you have to ensure you've wiped prior. I don't blast my ass with it. Don't know if I believe you, Robert. Can't lie, mate. Also, do you know what's really weird while we're on the topic of this, right? If you were to wash your hands, right? In the ideal scenario, you'd use warm water and soap, right? If you were to wash your body, in the ideal scenario, you use warm water or cold water in a shower and soap. But if you were to wipe your ass, you're satisfied by just using a dry piece of toilet paper. Then it's clean. You wouldn't do this. And go, I'm clean. But you're satisfied with it, you are. Explain that. Uh, okay, these cows I are probably about done. Oh, this conversation's been happening for a little while, Oliver. You're not the only one, if that makes you feel better, pal. Holy crap, there was a lot of cows fucking lined up ready to rumble in. I think we're probably done with filling up the top now. The top's probably good. But true, some people have bite it's true. Wet wipes are a brilliant addition to any toilet. You can't flush wet wipes. What do you do? Put them in the bin? Because that's disgusting. Nowhere in the UK has bidets. There are wet wipes you can flush. I've yet to come across them. Do not flush wet wipes. I mean, that's what I was under the impression of. Yeah, wet wipes are a no-go. <laughs> fish fuckers. Right now, there is somebody in this stream with a pack of those frog wipes sat on the top of their toilet and they've been flushing them for years. What are they called? Um, what are they frog wet wipes or something like that? Yeah, here we go. Pack of these bad boys on the top of their toilet seat and they've been flushing them for yonks. They've been flushing them for yonks. How many people remember these, by the way? All right, cows, we need to solve this issue. There's a lot of people trying to escape here, and it's not acceptable. So we're going to need you to need you all out of this uh, stairwell. The stairwell is closed. Go back in there. Oh, no. I don't know if that went in. I think it did. I've just broken my whole storage system. No, please don't look up a fat bird. You will actually want to throw up. Don't look that up. Hello, sir. You are the weakest snake. I could have let you live, but I chose not to. <laughs> that needs to be there. Remembers the Reddit poop knife story. Why are we still talking about poop? How has nobody suggested a better conversation for this channel yet? Will somebody please come up with a better conversation? Let's talk Twitch Prime.
the game and how you just lost the game. Chat, everyone just lost the game because of Amy Nico, so be fuming. How long until it's tested? What, the system? It's about to be tested now. Chat, you all just lost the game because of Amy Nico. Whoa, Johnny and Jen, thanks again for the bits. I thought we were still at 1,500. We're up to 2,000. 3,000 away from the bit goal of the stream. There's about an hour left on today's show because I was massively behind today, but still. Monka S. Big Monkers in the chat. Right, this is looking more plausible. We've got loads of cows up top. These guys are all chilling and growing up. They need some harvest real quick. Surely that's a bannable offense. I mean, in my brain, I would agree. All in favor of banning Amy for making sure that... Uh... I know, she got really upset. I was on a bad day. Don't worry. Never mind. We can't do that. She's in the clear. You moved your setup about. What have you changed? Uh... Oh, bollocks. I did just put raw beef in storage. Yeah, I did. Fuck's sake, button, you idiot. Thank you. There must be one in here. There we go. The good news is, these guys are ready to rumble. Definitely were, baby. Definitely were. We're not going to go into that, though. We're not going to go into that. I did put raw beef in here because I'm a dipshit. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I think we're ready to rumble. We just need hoppers. Would you rather have a really, really loud, odorless or something? Wait, why are we still talking about farts and poo? Can we talk about pizza? It's two for Tuesday today. Is anybody getting a pizza? Really loud, but odorless farts or silent but stinky farts for the rest of your life. Is there even an answer to that? Do you know what? I don't know. Because both are very satisfying in their own way. God, Domino's is so good. Alex, you eat a meteor and then just let it fart out. It just stinks. It's so good. Anyway. Because loud and odorless, right? If it was loud, some people are like, whoa, that was fucking sick, right? But if everyone knew your farts were odorless, they'd just applaud you for it and then everyone would move on. But silent is also great because throwing other people under the bus is good fun. So if I was, for example, just to, I don't know, be at the pub and I'd just fart and I'd just sort of move away from it slightly and then someone would notice and be like, Oh, that fucking stinks. Who was that? And then just you hear like your mates just start blaming that person. Then you're like, yeah, fucking that guy. Like, that's quite a satisfying game. So the answer to your question is I don't know. I'm happy with either. Right, let's give it a test. Wow, that actually worked really well. Holy crap. Fine, you needed hoppers! Fuck! How did I forget? Sorry, no, I had to answer Robert's question. Right, back to pizzas. Meteor pizza. Mmm. I've not had a meteor in a long time. I don't remember the last time I had a pizza, actually. Oh, meteor pizza, man. Oh, so fucking good. Barbecue chicken pizza with red onions, pipe. Oh, I'm ruined. There's no point in even reading that. Just no point. Um, it's got to be a meteor pizza, man. So good. So fucking good. Um, I do. I remember it well. Well, then you're very lucky. Yeah. I remember when I last had a pizza with Alice. That was good fun. It was very full that day. 
Very full that day. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Harper's butter. Don't fucking forget. It was a jam-packed weekend. It was actually a great weekend is what it was. I'm actually kind of upset we haven't done it again since. There were 15 hobbers in that chest. What, what are these? Oh my god, there was. Fucking hell, button, you knob. I just... This, this sucks. We only need one, I think. I have never had pineapple on pizza, but... You know, Gordon Ramsay says it's wrong, so I'm going to listen to him. Fuck, marry, kill, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's. I've never had a Papa John's, so I don't know. But I've heard bad things about Papa John's. <laughs> Domino's and Marion. I love Domino's. That's a forever pizza. Hey, Button. A nurse was walking the ward, reached into her pocket and pulled out a rectal thermometer. She yelled, damn it. Some asshole has my pen. A nurse wa- was walking to a nurse was walking the board, reached in her pocket, and pulled out a rectal thorn and she damn it, some asshole has my pen. Oh. I don't know what I, I wasn't really listening with that text speech went off, Johnny. Um I enjoyed it! 6.8. I enjoyed it. No, it deserves more than that. 7.2. I did enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, are these guys going to fill that whole section? I have no idea. I need all these dudes to grow up, though. Don't you know you got to grow up? Ain't you sick of being immature? Something about being insecure. You got to turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Come on. The Oli Merz and things that? I have no idea. Holy shit! That was a cow explosion. Papa John's is only good sometimes. Like Domino's is solid always. Pizza that sucked. Yeah, the last pizza I had was pretty crap, um, and I never go there, so I'm killing pizza. Up. We'll, we'll, we'll fuck Papa John's. Give it a whirl. But then there's some people that absolutely swear by Papa John's. Oh, yeah. All the kids are coming down. This is a lot of cows, man. We need them all to grow up, and then we're laughing in terms of the, uh, the food. Uh, let's just stop anything else going in those hoppers. There we go. We have 70 levels, too, by the way. Um... The guy in the video also put hoppers, uh, not hoppers, trapdoors on the tops of the cows. Why did he do that? Does anybody know? We need your sound pack on just to hear the chaos. Oh, God. Sound warning. Sound warning. This is your sound warning. Sound warning. That was a lot. <laughs> Get rid of it. Oh dear. Um, oh, well, the trap doors to stop me from falling in. Is that what it was? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. We can totally find a way out of that. Happened. I want these guys to grow up so I can kill them. 
I don't know how long it takes for a cow to grow up. A cow flyby. No, we're not cow flyby yet. There's no time for a cow flyby. We haven't tried the mod called Feeding Trough. I maybe. Come get your wheat, get your wheat. Keep them psyched in. It's almost like a washing machine, this. Different cows. We'll end up at the back. Right, uh, so that's doing its thing. Those cows are going to grow up in time. There's a lot of little cows there as well, which is a lot of food. Uh, and then we've just got to move all these guys into this top part. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. Meanwhile, uh, Operation... We, we still need... We need nine stacks of diamonds. And then we can finally make this beacon. God, man. Diamond beakers was such a stupid idea. It wasn't so bad in the last world because we had nine stacks of uh, diamond ore. I don't even know how we got that many, but we did. Uh, so the question is, where are we going to start with this? Do we start on the end hill tunnel and get it sort of going? Do we do the... Uh, we've got the nether tunnel we still have to do. The mine is still not finished. There's so many unfinished things going on at the moment, and they need to get finished. You know, if you stretch the bottom up one more, move dispensers up a block, and put the signs on the new block, then it would kill... Only kill mature cows at one and a half high. No babies were killed. I don't think that works, fam shop. No babies will ever be killed anyway, because it doesn't touch those guys. I'm not convinced cows are one and a half high. Uh, I'm not convinced. Hold on. Give me this. Uh... Cow. Uh, just any block. So, why is this slabs? Give me that. Right. Yeah, I'm not convinced that your, your, your point makes any sense here. One second. Let me grab some glass. So, you're saying... If the cow is sat on the floor, oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna have to be on a block or some sort. Of, fuck, give me a sword. I keep forgetting the netherite seed. I think so we're only using diamond at the moment. Uh, what did you say? Stretch the bot. Oh no, that's isn't that literally what we've done? What the fuck is all this? The hell? I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, yeah, I don't think your solution actually fixes anything. Um, Bam truck. I, I don't think that... I think it's just another iteration of what we've already done. Because one and a half blocks would be here. Well, I think what you're saying is this. Um, I think what you're saying is do this. But that doesn't work because it's not one and a half. That's one and a half blocks gaps between the lava and the cows, and they're not dying. Um, while your plan is just thinking of what to do next, might be worth making a small iron farm so you can take over and do whatever else. Well, this is the problem. I don't want to build anything else because then that's another unfinished project. I get your point, though. We probably should do something along those lines, but I'm not going to do something along those lines because that's another project on the list. We just need to clean up what we've already got going on. Luckily, we're doing a 24-hour stream, so it's fine, but... Like, this is just a disaster, is what it is. Imp helped with the design. It's one I've not seen. I mean, what we've got at the moment works. We're just going to stick with that, but I understand your, uh, your point. Am 
When's 24 hour stream? There's no 24 hour stream. But there is a marathon stream in like two days. I don't I don't know what we're gonna do for it yet. I don't know if it's gonna be a summathon or what. Um It'll either be Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday. We'll start at like 8 a.m. and we'll stream. I don't know. Maybe we'll do 12 hours. Maybe we'll do 15 hours. It'll be a cap of 12 or 15 hours. Probably 15 hours. Maybe 12. I don't know. I haven't thought this through. I don't know whether we're just going to do a flat 12-hour stream. Here we are. Or if we're going to do a subathon. Or if we're going to do... Because as much as I, I like doing subathons. Because they are great. They help support the channel a ton. And then you guys obviously get more and more time. If there's a cap on a subathon... I don't know, man. I want to do a limitless subathon. That's what I want to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Do a 12 and then subs add 5 minutes with no cap. The problem is I live with other people, man, mate. That's the issue. I can't just be like... Else I would literally be like, let's do a 24 hour stream. I can't do that because I have other people that live in this house. They go to sleep and have work and stuff. Like, I can't just be streaming all night, shouting and talking. That's not fair on those guys. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we end up doing just a flat. Maybe we just do a flat 12 hour show. Because at the end of the day, you guys hit the 100 streak. You've earned it, right? So maybe we just say, right, we're doing a long stream. 12 hour show today. Boom. And then maybe the marathon for if we hit 150 streak is longer. Oh. Maybe we continuously make the marathons longer and longer depending on how long the streak goes. Maybe we do 12 hours for 100, 15 hours for 150, 20 hours or 18, 20 hours if we hit 200. Oh, oh, that could be a fun idea. Uh, we will get another one at some point. I reckon we do that because that's even more of an incentive to keep the street going. If we hit 150, we do a 50. So we'll do a 12 hour for the 100. We'll do 15 hours for 150. We'll do 18 or 20 hours. Oh no, we'll do multiples of three. 15 hours for 150. 18 hours for 200. 21 hours for 250. 24 hours for 300. Holy fucking shit. We could totally do that. And all of that... If we can keep to six, hour, uh, six, six days a week... Multiple of those will be done in a year. That seems like a good plan. What do we think, chat? What do we think? Barton's own home when... Well, I wanted to move out this year. But I can't afford to do that. Um, I wish I could. I wanted to move out this year, but I just can't afford to do it. So, moving out is absolutely on the radar. It's just not something I can afford to do at the moment. Um, but it's something I would like to do sooner rather than later, so... Future button will be pissed when you get to 24 hours. Well, not really. We used to do 24 hour streams. So what the rule used to be. Every time the bit bar master prestiged. And we hit 100,000 bits in a single stream. Mark, which gives a master prestige on the bar. I said we'd do a 24 hour stream. Right? Now. We ended up. Having 13 of them backlogged. And had to do. I think we did like three months of back-to-back -back weekend 24-hour streams. No, it might have been more than that. It was every weekend we did a 24-hour stream for like, I don't even know how many weeks it was. It was a lot. I want to say it was like 16, 17 weeks. It was ridiculous. So I have no issue doing a 24-hour stream. None at all. Granted, I've not done one in a few years. The last 24-hour stream I did was Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War when that came out. But I reckon we could still do it with relative ease. Do I live with the parents? Uh, I do still live at home, yeah. I do. Q, 
Keep the coal. Yeah, we probably should. All this is going to be stripped anyway, so it's not too much of an issue. Hmm. What do we think of that idea then, chat? We'll do a 12 hour for this. If we get 150 on the bit streak, we'll do 24. What the fuck's happened here, by the way? Uh, oh, we were just missing a lot there. There we go. Sorry. If we get 115 on, on the uh, streak, we'll do um, a 15 hour. Uh, 200, we'll do an 18 hour. 250, we'll do a 21 hour. 300, we do a 24 hour. 350, we do a 27 hour. 400, 30 hour. I mean, we'll stop at 24. We'll see how we get on, but we'll see how we do at the 24 hours. We have done a 36 hour stream before. Is the idea to do the roughly me hit each goal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Like the, the 12 hour stream or this marathon would have been last week, um, but it wasn't because my voice was still recovering from insomnia. Which it always does, because in some it just gets fucked talking so much for that. Four days straight, 20 hours a day talking. So we wanted to make sure that was recovered, which it now pretty much is. And then boom, full steam ahead. That's what we'll do. And then if the, the longer the treat continues, the more... The longer the marathon streams get. No, my... I, I don't think the, the other half will ever come on stream. She's not a... She's not a picture person. So she's definitely not going to be an on-camera in front of hundreds of people person. <laughs> so... You might get... She, I think she's going to be very much like a... Uh, like an Amanda in the John Bams channel. Everybody knows she exists. And occasionally you get a hand in there. But that'll be it. She's not a, uh, she's not a on-camera person. She <laughs> she hates sitting at my desk anyway when I'm not streaming because there's a camera right there, even though it's off. So she's not gonna be a on-stream person. Uh, but she will probably be a, an account in the chat that you guys will know and be able to say hi to. So you guys will still have. Somebody to side with that's not me. We both know who we are. Have I explained how we met? Assuming the pub. I don't really go to the pub anymore, Robert. I've been to my local pub three times this year. That's it. Uh, yeah, I've actually been to a casino more than I've been to my local pub. Um... But we met because she... So she's watched the stream for a few years. Uh, like, during, like, COVID and stuff. And... Basically, she sent me a DM on Instagram. And I, this is why it's weird, right? This is why it's weird. So I never check my Instagram DMs. Ever. Right? Never check. I don't have notifications on for them. I don't, I don't ever read them. Right? So... It was really weird that this one day I ended the stream and I just opened them up. I had a look just for whatever reason. I saw there was one, there was a couple in there, whatever. I just had a look. And uh, one of them was from her from the day before, like 12 hours ago. Gerald, two years, baby. Woo. Thank you so much, mate. Two years. Bop. What a man. Button. Button heart. I'll be two, Gerald. You're the man, dude. Thank you so much. But there was a message from her for like 12 hours ago. She basically said, hey, this is really unlike me. This is actually her exact words. Uh, hey, this is really unlike me. Um, or really out of character for me. It was something like that. No. Hey, this is really unlike me, but would you like to go for a drink sometime? Because uh, she had seen on my Instagram bio I was from Cambridgeshire, so she knew that I wasn't a million miles from her. I had no idea where she lived, but obviously then I found out. Um, and I basically gave a professional reply saying... Hi, I don't really know you that well, but I'm happy to get to know you a little bit more. Uh, and then, yeah, it just went from there. And then we uh, eventually went to have a drink with her, and here we are. Gerald, thank you so much for the two years, mate. I appreciate it, pal. Welcome back. Boom! Three subs away from 550. 
and 2,800 bits away from saving the streak. And we have nine minutes left on the stream. This is emergency action stations. That's actually a lie. We're going overtime today. We're going overtime today. We've got like 40 minutes left on the stream. I have to be done by like half past. This is emergency alarm to save the streak. There's about 40 minutes remaining. Action stations. Am I tired? Yes. I am always tired, mate. Always tired. Okay. Switch Daydream with a prime. Thank you so much, mate. Welcome back. I appreciate it. What a legend. Thank you so much, pal. Uh, and yeah, anyway, that's how the, me and the missus met. And now here we are. It was just one of those weird situations where I never, ever would look at that and it just sort of happened. So, but those have, in my experience, always been the best ones anyway, so. Uh, Mole, what the prime? Can I go with 100 bits? Boom. Thank you so now much. I appreciate it. That is a lie, Robert. You've never DM'd me. Thank you for the 100 bits, Kanga. 2,700 to go, boys. 2,700 to go to save the streak. We already owe you guys a 12-hour marathon. If we hit 150 on the street, we're going to be doing a 15-hour marathon. 200, we're going to be doing an 18-hour marathon. That is such a good idea, by the way. We're going to be doing that. The marathons will get longer the longer the street goes. That seems like a good plan. Uh, Hyper Chick with 200 bitties. Thank you so much. Halfway. We've got 40 minutes. Less than 40 minutes left on the stream. To keep the streak alive, boys. Thank you so much, Hyper Chick. I appreciate it. We may end up needing a hero here, but it's... We shall see. We shall see. Uh, is ice the best way to travel through tunnels? Yes, blue ice. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Sleeping. Um, Buick coming in as well with 100 bits. 2,400 to go. We're chipping away at it. Chipping away, boys. Thank you all very much for the support, guys. Really do appreciate it. You guys are amazing. As we etch towards keeping the streak alive. We can't let it die today. We can't let it die, baby. Uh, is this right? Yeah, we've got to extend this. This is fine. Not too worried about the walls, because these are all going to be replaced anyway. But uh, Three minutes left on the trade. Three minutes remaining. That, that. Oh, this is going to have to be moved. Okay. Nor me, though I don't drink. What's this? What? Oh, what? Mermaid CMs? That, that, Mermaid, that is a lie as well. What's everybody lying for today? But yeah, be proud of me, Robert. I have not been to my... I've been to my uncle Club three times this year. The last time I went there, I think, was on my birthday. Oh, no. It would have been after that, because I did dry January. Um, maybe, like, mid-February. Yeah. Cool button train. What do you mean? What do you mean? Two minutes left on the train. Hooray! Hooray! We have a hooray emote! We actually have a hooray emote! Much love, Button. Button woos, I'm button yays, button hoorays! Off. We have a hooray emote now. Get them all in the chat! Hooray! Gerald being a fucking legend! Coming out of nowhere! Being a hero! Saving the streak! We have a hooray emote now, courtesy of him. Uh, let's get it updated, boys. One step closer. 100. <laughs> 69. And 10. There it is. I'm a one away from 550 subplates. Thank you so much again, guys. Uh, 
No, we're not, Robert. The subfloor's full. We need to come up with what we're going to do. We talked about doing like a whole sub sort of house, but I haven't really like committed to anything like that yet. Because we need to come up with like a monument sort of thing for all the people who support the show. And saving the train as well, though, Gerald. Thank you so much, pal. <laughs> Three darts, max score. Thank you so much, Jed. I appreciate it. Uh, something like this. Holes does like a 180. She does. She's definitely more of a screaming 180 fan though than the uh, the silent, quieter 180. Uh, thank you so much, though, Jen. I appreciate it. Three minutes left on the trade at 50%. Uh, Mermaid, why did you want a... <laughs> thank you, Uh I forgot what I was saying. Uh, Spasuba, thank you for the 18 biddies. I appreciate it. Um, if we get a sub house, can we also use non-solid blocks? We'll probably allow it for the sub house, yeah. We'll probably allow it for the sub house. But we can't allow destruction of other people's things in the sub house. So, like, lava will probably be banned. Water will probably be fine. Slabs will be fine. But lava will probably be probably be banned. Uh, specifically, thank you for the 69. I appreciate it. Because Matt's name is long is why you want an alternate command. Button train. B-U-T-T-O-N. T-R-A-I-N. Matrixes train. M-A-T-R-I-X-I-S. T-R-A-I-N. It's two letters longer. You can spell button though. True. I mean, for the longest time, Matt was called Matraxis by, uh, by Slowpoke. Yes, that'll be allowed, Mama Burger. It will. And just for no other reason than shits and gills, I, uh, I can't remember where it came from. I, came, I think it came from Moku. I don't remember that guy. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, he, I think he used to call Matt mattresses. Uh, or he called him it like once, and then I just sort of stuck to it. And I just called him mattresses ever since. Who's Slowpoke? Slowpoke is somebody who's fucking useless at replying to text messages. That's who he is. That's who he is. Good job it's not an emergency and I'm on fire because I'd, I'd be long dead by the time Slowpoke saw or even replied to a text. Twenty seconds on the train. Shit, salute it. It's leaving. Thank you for the support, folks. Appreciate it. Slows in his retired era. To be fair, he, is, he has got a lot going on at the moment. He's got a busy life at the moment. So I understand. Playing hardcore? Fucking do right, brother. I think I'm scared of a little bit of hardcore, mate. I think I'm a, I think I'm a pussy. Because you thought wrong. That would be a grave mistake. I don't know why I pointed you so evilly there. Sorry. I mean, we'll bring this out further and then we'll just like push this back. This seems logical. This seems logical. It's rude to point. Point something else at you in a minute. Wait! How you doing, man, mate? What are you saying? 
Somebody get Robert out of here. Comments like that, mate. Get him gone. Get him gone. Round him up. Get him gone. Robert's like, the fuck did I do? What hasn't Robert done? Let's be honest. Just counted 12 sheets. What? In a, in a single pull? Jesus. That's crazy. How are you not like clogging your toilet with that? Sometimes there's like, you get, what happens if you get one of those endless wipers? Sometimes you wipe. And it's still there, and you wipe again, it's still there. And you just keep, keep going and going and going and going and going. Like, your toilet's going to block after the first 12 lots of sheets. Right? So you, you're going to have to... You're going to have to flush and then carry on. Hi, Martin. Do you have any recommendations for a mangrove tree farm? I have no idea, mate. I've never built one of those. You flush it a bit intermittently. Right. I agree with Robert. That is a rich person type thing to do. A, how much toilet paper do you go through? Holy crap. B, what is your water bill with the amount of flushes you'd have to do for an endless wiper? It's impressive, actually. Flushing doesn't affect your water bill. She did not just say that. She did not just say that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Amy. Oh no. Oh no. It's worse than asking if my Tesla took petrol or diesel. Wowie. Wowie. No, don't even pretend that was an attempt at a nibble. Don't even pretend. Oh my god, Amy. Bless you. Bless you. Don't even pretend. I got red with embarrassment for you that you just said that. Oh, dearie me. That was a big fumble on Amy's part. I know she's trying to play it off, but... Wowie. Wowie. We need to we need to screenshot that one. That, that that's one for the uh that's one for the future. Tell what we'll do. Hold on. Uh new folder. The book of Amy. So we've got, we're going to just don't stress. That's going in the folder. Uh, save as. Desktop, the book of Amy. Flush is free. There we go. We're going to build a collection of these. The Book of Amy. Oh, look at the folder picture as well. It's perfect. It's perfect. Wowie. That was amazing. That was amazing. Who is not on a water meter? What the hell? There's no way. Yeah, of course you have to pay for what you use. Unless you have a rainwater tank. That's true. That's true. Although that's old shit now. No one has a fucking great water tank. What do you mean? I don't have a water meter, man. Oh, I use all the water I want. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. 
That was fucking brilliant, though. It was just the way it was just said. It was just amazing. The point is, you pay for your water. That's my point. I don't give a bollocks if you pay annually. If you're on a meter, it's probably worse. You pay for your water. So you, you flush your toilet, costs money. It doesn't disprove the rule of anything. Amy fumbled. It's gone in the book of Amy. There's no backtrack. That's the core principle of it. You still pay for the water. Uh... How many days in game are we now? Six th 6,663. The water's coming from somewhere. Correct. You're paying for it somewhere along the line. The core principle of all of it is you flush the toilet, you're using water that you've paid for. Uh, I remember Button's wish the other day for Mojang to add a lot more animals in the game and I just found out why they won't be doing this. They sell a bedrock add-on, a conversion of a Java mod, which adds in a lot of animals. So why bother doing it for free when they can make money off of bedrock players? That's a thing? No, Amy, you're missing the point. You literally have to pay for that water regardless. Um, Imp, you're not getting a nibble out of me. I've lived in my own house and paid my own bills. I understand how that stuff works. Yes, you pay for the water, not how much you use. So if you flush the toilet, that water that's in the toilet to flush it has been paid for. You're not understanding. Look, Amy, it's okay. You can't teach a brick to float. It's fine. Um, Bedrock is the moneymaker. What's the mod called? Um, found out they sell a Bedrock add-on... What's it called? No, I didn't call you a brick. I called you a brick. Um, <laughs> did you just call me a brick? Um, what is it called? Bedrock. Animal. Bedrock. Animal add-on? Would that do? Add-on. Here we go. What website would it be? Uh, Minecraft Bedrock Animal Animal. Oh, it actually is a th That's fucked, mate. Wait, here it is. This is the official Minecraft website. What the fuck? How much is this? Obviously, we don't play Bedrock, but how much do you have to pay for this? That's wrong. This is the official site. Let's look. Animal add-ons. Uh, add-ons are the newest. Yeah, this is a thing. What the hell, man? We get shafted on Java. Look at that. Rhino, elephants, hippo, giraffe, flamingos. That actually looks sick. It's by Starfish Studios. But it's still on, like, my, 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 I play Bedrock, it costs a tenner. Maybe I make money every time somebody buys this. What the hell, man? That's sick. Look how cool that is. Ostriches. What's this thing? I don't know what this thing at the back here is. is that, I guess, what even is that? I have no idea. Me and him are correct. Okay, Amy. Don't pay your water bill. Have your water turned off. And then try and flush your toilet more than twice. Oh, it's a moose. There you go. End of conversation. Again, you can't teach a brick to float. There's no point in me carrying on. Um, br black and brown bears, tigers, leopard. 
Mate, that's fucking awesome. If that cost a tenner as a one-time thing for normal Minecraft, I don't know, it'd be free. Ooh, Java mods are free. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. <sighs> Maybe it's money motivated, but if Mojang don't own... No, because they still make money from it. I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of a kid that's playing on the Xbox. You play on the Xbox. You see those animals. You're going to be asking your mum for it. He refused to expect... He refuses to accept he misunderstood the point. No, I get the point. You're not on a water meter, so you don't pay for the extra water used. Completely understand that. But you still pay for your water. You cannot pay a water bill in this country and legally cannot cut you off. Okay. Top tip of the day here. Don't pay your water bill, chat, because it's all free anyway. Stupid. It's not always the case. I pay my bill annually. It doesn't have a meter. The amount of times you flush does not affect your bill. Maybe so, but you still have to pay your bill. Flushing doesn't affect your water bill. I see your point. But your comment was still funny because it did sound dense as fuck. Modern homes are all on water meters nowadays. I don't believe that they're not for a second. Uh, I just built a front light farm and noticed after two hours of AFK, half the farm is in nether wastes. Well, that doesn't matter. Oh, you haven't used a spawner from a bastion. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a mistake. I'm not removing the screenshot from the book because the original comment was dense as fuck and it was funny. Stays in the book of Amy. Uh... Make sure this is lit up. I don't want to be dealing with mobs in here. Surely all new builds are built with water meters in nowadays. Diamonds. Uh, I can't remember if we were on a water meter when uh, I lived in Australia. I can't even remember now. I don't know what we paid for that. I probably got the spreadsheet somewhere. I'm pretty sure. No, I think it was a meet. I'm pretty sure it fluctuated every month. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did fluctuate every month. Why the hell is my staircase? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been so behind today, um, Holes. So behind. I've got so much stuff to do, it's insane. I mean, absolutely. If you can have the options of not have a meter, fucking two right. Wait, is all this going? Because this will be so this is gonna be the mid part. Floor. Okay. And then we can put stair a staircase in here or push this. No, I think... Oh, fuck, man. Probably be cheaper if I get a meter, uh, but I only pay £12 a month for water. I mean, that, you know, £12 a month, whatever. £12 a month, use as much as you like. Especially if you're somebody that has kids and like in the summer they have like a, I don't know, like a swimming pool or something they go in. Mm -mm. Why are we digging this out? This goes all the way down to our end portal. So this is going to be an end tunnel. The problem is I don't have any... Um, uh, I don't have any beacons I can use because it's diamond only beacons.
Diamond only beacons with such a stupid rule. I admit that. But now if I get rid of it, I'm deemed a pussy. So now I can't. Now I have to stick to it. Uh, can we just... Yep. That'll do it. Correct, Robert. I don't know why people think I don't have any experience in living in a house. I literally lived for six months in my own place in Australia with Roxy. I completely understand how bills work and how that whole concept works. That really pisses me off when people think I don't understand that because I absolutely do. Um, you need to get rid of them uh, to be deemed that. You don't need to get rid of them to be deemed that. Don't need to get rid of what? Don't need to get rid of them. What? Oh. Uh, get rid of diamond beacons to be deemed a pussy. Liv, what the fuck, man? That's messed up. I mean, there's the reason why I never been, I didn't bin it off is because uh, no, you're not, Robert. You just as a person, as an individual, your existence just annoys me in general. <laughs> oh God, um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, in the last world, we had uh, like nine. I think it was more than nine stacks of diamond ore. So I was like, okay, this is just a piece of piss. So you're saying I'm doing a good job. Correct. Uh, but if you ever feel bad about it, Robert, just trap back a little bit and just think, at least I'm not Nightwolf. <clears throat> Could be worse. just got it. Well, sorry, Noel. That doesn't excuse your eight-year reputation in this channel. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't excuse your eight-year reputation. That you've only built yourself. So far, so good. After we've done this one more chat, we should be good. We should be good. I think I'm just, I don't know if I'm going to replace the blocks or just put it on top. I don't know yet. keep the shape of this actually else this is gonna get confusing uh something like this there we go wait can you see somewhere how long you followed yeah so you followed for well since the 21st of june 2020 and you created your account on the 23rd of august 2014 damn live you've been around a while Wait, is your account older than mine? Where did I make my account? Oh, no, no, definitely not. No, no. I think mine was like 2012 or something. I think mine was like 2012. 2014, though. That's be 10 years you've been on Twitch now. That's a long-ass time. Uh... A 
Amy's solution to maintaining her front garden was just to tarmac the whole thing. <laughs> oh, God. It's genius. You don't have to do any gardening if it's all just fucking tarmac. Boom. It's a genius solution, really. That's the way to do it. I haven't got to maintain it if it's not there. Boom. Uh, wasn't I finished with it too? No, I said I'd go until half past today. I, I was so behind. I've got so much to do today. I'm not going to go to bed until like 3 or 4 in the morning. I'm kind of depressed about it, but... Life goes on. So I'll be ending the stream, going to the gym as quick as I can, smashing out a session because there's no days off at the gym no matter what. And we're coming home and we're grafting all night. All night. My plan is to do and file my entire tax return, which I haven't even started, in a single night. That's the goal. That's going to take some hours. Okay. Sweet. Love living in a country does it for you? No, generally they do in the UK. Like most people, I think most people that get paid at like a normal job, uh, I think their tax is really taken off their wages anyway. But for, for someone who's self-employed, you have to file all of them yourself. That is not done yourself. Um, so we could do, you know, we could also like pop this in here. Think you have a block missing? Look down, right hand side near the bottom. Ah, I do. Two blocks missing. Good spot. You trust them to do it for you? Well, your employer takes off what you would owe. So if you're getting paid, you know, 30 grand a year or whatever, you get your... I think it's... Is it 12 grand tax-free? 12 and a half tax-free? Then everything else is taxed at 20%. And then they just take that off your wages. As I understand it. 12750, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we all just like lived in like fucking Dubai or some shit and your income tax is literally zero? That'd just be beautiful. We're gonna pay you 40 grand a year and you take home every single penny. That'd be beautiful. Twelve five seventy, yeah. That's come up a bit, because I think it used to be 11,500. I think it's come up by a grand. If you live in Dubai, you've got other issues. Well, I don't know what other bills are involved in that. It's kind of like living in Vegas, right? I don't think you have in income tax in Vegas, but you have to pay a bunch of other shit. 40%. It's just brutal, isn't it? 40% is rough. So in the UK, it's like 12 and a half is tax-free. And then from 12 and a half to 42, I think, is 20%. 42 up to 100 is 40%. And then... A, no, 42 up to 150 is 40%. And 150 plus is 45 I think that works out. Yeah, that's about right. Hi, Alex. How are you? 55% in Belgium. See, I'd move. If it was 55%, I'd just move. Like, that's a joke. You work, and then they take over half your money in income tax. That's just, yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'd be out of there. As soon as possible. Not doing too bad, uh... 
Alex, hope you're doing well as well, mate. 40 feels broad. I mean, it would be cool, Robert. I mean, it may, this obviously just complicates things more, but it would be cool if they did like, you know, 12 to 40 or 45, something like that, is uh, 20%. I don't know, 45 to 60 is 25%, 60 to 90 is 30%, 90 to 120, 40%, 20 to 150 is 45%, something like that. Would make a lot more sense. They'll obviously never do that because they'd lose out of money, so why would they do that? But you are right, the range of, I mean, what is it, 110 grand? Is, for, is the 40% range? And then you get into the 45, which is the, the cap. Yeah, some sort of a 30% bracket makes sense to me. Because uh, if you just eek into the 40% bracket, you get totally screwed. That's not true. It's not 40% on your entire earnings. Like, well, because the button's painting. At least in the self-employed world, it's like this. I imagine it correlates over to the, you know, normal job world as well. So, like, if you make... Why is that so... Why has paint changed? I don't know how to use this anymore. So, like, your first... This is, like, your income, right? So, let's just break, break it up like this. So, this is your 12 and a half, right? That's tax-free. And then this is your 12 and a half up to your... Let's just, let's just call it 45 at your 20%. And then this stuff is all your 40%. So, that first 12 and a half thousand pounds you make, there's no tax on it whatsoever. This, whatever that works out at, 33,000 or whatever... That's taxed at 20%. And then if you make £45,001, that £1 is the only thing that's taxed at 40%. So it's everything over this amount. Uh, so if you make £45,001, it's only the £1 taxed at 40%. The other 30000 or whatever is taxed at 20%, and then the 12 and a half is tax-free. It's not just... 45,000 to 1, everything's 40%. Like, it's not, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. So, if you make 47,000 pounds a year, you're not getting totally shafted because you're only getting 40% on 2,000 pounds. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, that's the way, I'm pretty sure that's just the way it works with everybody. You're still kind of getting screwed. Well, not really, because you're in that bracket at that point. So anything beyond that point should be 40%. It's only that little bit. You know? The rest is all normal. I sort of get where you're coming from, but it, how else do you do it? I, I, in my head, there's no other way you can do it without... Yeah, like that's it. Just more brackets. But even if you said 45 to 60 is a 30% bracket, that one pound is still only going to get taxed at 30%. What's your drawing? It's one of my amazing art creations. Uh, oh, let's go check the cows out real quick. 2.30. It is 2.30. Yeah, yeah. We're going even more over time. If you're working two jobs, how do you, how does pay as you go work in the UK? If you're working two jobs, how does pay as you go work in the UK? I think it doesn't matter. I think it's just joint income. So if your two jobs make you fifty thousand pounds a year, you pay income tax on fifty thousand pounds a year. Or are you saying? Oh, are you saying you have two jobs? Let's say they both pay twenty five. You get taxed at twenty percent on the first job for that twelve and a half thousand, and then twenty percent on the other twelve and a half thousand. Because technically you should be paying 40% on 10 grand of that. Yeah, there must be some sort of adjustment there. There'd have to be some sort of... Oh, look at this! They're all grown! Be gone! Ha 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 ha! Yeah! Ah, oh, that was so sick. Screw the raw beef. Yeah, tax is a very, very boring conversation. But I think the second job is hit straight at 40%. Yeah, I don't know how that works if your employer does your taxes for that. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Because you'd still have to pay the same as everybody else. You wouldn't pay more. Because if, if you pay 20% on both, 
You're paying more than you need to pay. I think. I can't, I'm, I can't do the math of that in my head. That works out about right. How to avoid, not evade, some tax. Start up a company in, I don't know, some tiny little island with a 1% tax bracket. What? Oh, it filled up the supplies first. That's fine. With like a 1% uh, income tax rate. And then use your get employed by your employer as that company. And then that you pay the tax of your country of residency, which the company's residency would be a 1% tax rate. So you pay the 1% tax. And that's how you avoid tax without breaking the law. Boom. Boom. Anyway, we're out of here. Boys, thank you so much for hanging out. We've got to skedaddle. I'm sorry for the late start today. Tomorrow we should be bang on time. Marathon stream Thursday or Friday. We're going to get a nice 12-hour stream in there as well. So make sure you're... Uh, you're ready for that, because that's going to be a big one. Follow the channel if you're new. Thank you for all the support today. The bit streak lives on. And if we hit 150, that is a 15-hour marathon show unlocked. Um, but yeah, we are going to get out of here. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it, chat. You're amazing. Follow the channel if you're new. Very important to follow the channel if you're new. If you don't, then you're literally... I don't know. Missing out on this amazing community. Boom, there we go. Uh, we're not going to do a raid today. Instead, I'm just going to say go out there, find somebody with like one viewer and say hi to them. So I guarantee you will make their day. Stay awesome. Stay safe. Just check the second job is charged at the basic rate 20% to the higher 40%. So there is no LEL. Yeah, I've got no idea. Luckily, that's a problem that I ain't got to worry about. So it's fine. Uh, take care, chat. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Much love. Spam the channel of hearts. All that good shit. Show love to the community. Make sure you follow on Twitter. We always tweet when we go live. We'll give you updates on the stream and marathons and like that. Instagram for my personal life. YouTube for extra content and the VODs for anything you may have missed. Hi, Hayden. Bye, Hayden. I hope you had a good birthday, mate. Um, and we'll see you all live again tomorrow. Take care, chat. Much love. Until then, peace out, guys. Bye, everybody.